there have been some strange findings. One of the most amazing and misunderstood individuals in the history of science is Nikola Tesla. His discoveries were regarded as marvels at the time, and he made a significant contribution to science and technology. The scientist is the subject of many conspiracies, including those involving his claimed involvement in the Philadelphia experiment, the development of superweapons, atmospheric electricity, and even the narrative of the Tunguska meteorite explosion. However, a secret message left by Tesla that was just recently made public stunned a lot of people. What is this previously unreleased final message that was kept secret? Join us as we explore Nikola Tesla's chilling message that wasn't released until now. In 1856, Nikola Tesla was born in Croatia's Serbian region. He studied physics, languages and mechanical and electrical engineering at various universities in Europe. He performed work in Budapest and Paris for Thomas Edison's European Telephone Company in the late 1800s. He arrived in the United States in 1884. He temporarily worked for Edison in New York City but he was much more successful when pursuing innovations on his own. Tesla broke away from Edison after numerous arguments about the advantages of DC versus AC. He built and patented a number of electrical devices. Among them were advancements in telegraph, arc lights, and numerous electrical devices including generators and motors. One of his best creations was the AC induction motor, which he sold to Westinghouse. Tesla joined Westinghouse and assisted him in winning the battle for the distribution of electrical power, both domestically and abroad. Direct current, DC, was Edison's preferred kind of electricity, but he soon recognized that it was wasteful and required more generating stations closer together. Alternating current, AC, could, however, be efficiently transmitted across extremely long distances before being stepped back down to practical levels where it was to be utilized thanks to its capacity to be voltage-stepped by a transformer. Even though he has thousands of innovations and patents, very few, if any, have truly been financially successful for him. Thanks to his royalties and the sporadic research funding he occasionally obtained from a regular stream of wealthy customers, he was able to live well in New York City hotels. Generally speaking, Tesla was too engaged due to his active mind to patent or otherwise protect everything he created. Because of this, despite receiving his American patent for the radio in the same year that Marconi acquired his first British patent, he was never given credit for its invention. Tesla was quite successful at obtaining newspapers. Tesla was highly successful in getting media coverage for his work. But before Tesla realized what was happening, Marconi came along and grabbed all of the glory and credit. Just a few years after Heinrich Hertz demonstrated UHF spark wireless communications in Germany in 1885, Tesla created radio in 1892. Inventors from all over the world produced new, exciting ideas left and right in the years preceding the 20th century. Research into radio technologies was also accelerating. Nikola Tesla and Guglielmo Marconi competed head-to-head -head in what would become the race to develop the radio. If you ask any two people who invented the radio today, more than a century later, you're probably going to hear two different answers. The plot is complicated and involves scientific research, legal proceedings, and conventional marketing. After immigrating to the US in 1884, Tesla created the induction coil, also known as the Tesla coil, which is essential for transmitting and receiving radio waves. The US Patent and Trademark Office later asserted that Marconi used the Tesla coil in his work. Tesla's lab, however, was completely destroyed by fire in 1895, just as he was getting ready to transmit a radio signal 50 miles or 80 kilometers to West Point, New York. 
In the meantime, Marconi was conducting his own experiments, transmitting and receiving radio signals based on Morse code over a distance of around 4 miles or 6 kilometers in England in 1896. He sought for and received the first wireless telegraphy patent in history in England that same year. In 1897, Tesla submitted his initial radio patent applications to the US. At Madison Square Garden in 1898, he built and showed a radio-controlled boat. Things start to get tricky at this point. Tesla received patents 645,576 and 649,621 on March 20th and May 15th, 1900, respectively, from the USPTO. These patents covered the fundamental structure of Tesla coils. Tesla owned the rights to one of the most crucial aspects of radio communications thanks to his radio patents. The tuned telegraphy patent number 7777 was submitted by Marconi on November 10th of the same year. Marconi's applications were first denied by the patent office because his work required the use of Tesla coils. Unfazed, Marconi used his father's wealth and connections to build a prosperous company based on his telegraph technology. He continued to work on getting his radio innovations patented at the same time. He transmitted the first transatlantic telegraph in 1901. Marconi resubmitted his application while seeking funding from the business backers Andrew Carnegie and Thomas Edison for a further three years. Finally, the United States Patent and Trademark Office overturned its earlier decision in 1904 and granted the Italian inventor of the radio a patent. The Nobel Prize in Physics that Marconi received in 1909 inflamed his rivalry with Tesla even more. In 1915, Tesla filed an unsuccessful patent infringement lawsuit against the Marconi company. Marconi had triumphed. Maybe he had? In an odd turn of events, Marconi's company sued the US government for patent infringement in 1943, while the country was still engaged in World War I. The case, however, was never heard in court. The United States Supreme Court upheld patent 645,576, restoring Tesla, who had passed away a few months before, as the creator of the radio in order to avoid a legal dispute. Despite this, a sizable portion of people still regard Marconi as the inventor of the radio. But this is not the end of the radio tale. The people are confused by some recent revelations regarding Tesla and Marconi. This material clarifies Tesla's interactions with allegedly intelligent extraterrestrial beings. Tesla claimed that he accidentally discovered radio communication with aliens in his Colorado Springs laboratory in 1899 in a 1901 piece for Collier's Weekly. He and the Italian inventor Marconi were among the pioneers in developing radio wave technology and its uses around this time. And one night, Tesla started testing a novel radio antenna designed to track thunderstorms. Tesla connected to the channel while doing the experiments and, after hearing some incredibly strange noises, determined that these were the voices of extraterrestrial aliens. Tesla stated as follows, Even now, at times, I can vividly recall this incident and see my device as if it were really in front of me. My first observations definitely scared me, as there was something mysterious if not supernatural about them and I was alone in my laboratory at night. But at that time, the idea that these interference were intelligently controlled signals had not yet presented itself to me. However, after some time, the thought flashed through my mind that the interference I was observing could be the result of something reasonable. Although I couldn't decipher their meaning, I couldn't think of them as completely random. I have a constantly growing feeling that I was the first to hear a greeting from one planet to another. Given that Mars was the primary source of all things alien at the time, 
Tesla hypothesized that these aliens might have arrived from there. These occurrences might have significantly changed the direction of research into Tesla's wireless technology. He might have wanted to continue speaking with these entities. Curiously, Marconi also described a strange experience in which he picked up a coded message. He stated as follows, While experimenting with wireless telegraphy, I came across an amazing phenomenon. The most striking thing is that I personally receive signals that, I believe, come from outer space, outside our planet. I think it is quite possible that these signals could have been sent by the inhabitants of other planets to the inhabitants of Earth. If there are people on Mars, I wouldn't be surprised if they find means of communication with this planet. The connection of astronomy with the science of electricity can lead to almost anything. It's remarkable that these remarks weren't made up by arbitrary individuals. Regardless of your opinion, both Marconi and Nikola Tesla were exceptionally intelligent people. Tesla's efforts piqued the curiosity of officials who wanted to know what he had been up to. They did this in part to prevent any of his work falling into the wrong hands. As a result, they came to the conclusion that keeping the records in the officials' control would be to everyone's benefit. This is most likely the cause of the strange disappearance of so many records and other components of Tesla's work. Surprisingly, some of these purported inventions were known to the public, which prompted people to confront FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover and ask what Tesla was working on. Some people think that Nikola Tesla overheard an enigmatic message from space which led authorities to decide to launch their own inquiries after learning about it. Just in a short time after his passing, enormous amounts of his work were taken. The public interest had to be piqued by all of these shocking revelations because it soon turned into a genuine controversy. Tesla, however, quickly abandoned these experiments as a result of an unanticipated event. The issue becomes more strange and enigmatic when you consider that the FBI stole the majority of Tesla's notes and private notebooks following his death. Do you agree? Thanks for watching, and while you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.